and welcome back to another edition of the Sports Block. Tonight is a very special, ton, ton, uh, very special night as we honor all our seniors on the football team, as well as the band members and cheerleaders. And here come the Mustangs now. Very excited with it being senior night. A lot of energy. Uh, Cree Crazies uh, actually won the state's best student section. Uh, so they will be honored tonight as well. They've got the pink pom-poms, pink everywhere here in Middle Creek Stadium. I'm Kevin Brunson, joined here with Nick Holliday. How's it going, Nick? Good. How's it going? Just coming into this game, uh, Middle Creek is still undefeated in conference, sitting at 7-0 and uh, and 9-1 and overall. Uh, you know, with a win tonight, Will um, will guarantee the conference championship. Uh, you know, they're already already uh, in the playoffs, so they have nothing to worry about there. But Apex is coming in one and six in conference um, and two and seven overall. And their only wins are to Athens Drive and Riverside. So only one conference win, and that's uh, for Athens Drive. And uh, our seniors, Tonight for the football team, we have Quentin Ray, Devon Johnson, Dewan Young, Corey Wright, David Salmon, Jeff Sladek, Demetrius Wilkins, Gabe Cooper, Marcus Bullock, Naylan Lopez, Keenan Herring, Matt Vetterosa, Brandon Hunter, Malik Spencer, AJ Downer, Marquise Ward, Alex Williams, John Olson, Blake Aaron, Tyler Smith, James Ferguson, Jay Gamble, Brian Hughes, Ryan Dowell, Kimmy Pittman, and finally Demetrius Wilson. So we had a, you know, we had a great ceremony at the beginning of today's game. Uh, very emotional. Uh, I heard, you know, some of the players talking about almost getting in tears out on the on the field. So very emotional. Uh, for everyone out here, especially the parents, you know, it's got to be crazy to think of think about your kid uh, You know senior night in high school moving on to bigger and better things So we wish all of them the best of luck in the future So Middle Creek Getting pumped up. They're about to break the banner And of course it is October so breast cancer awareness month all over uh, You know cheerleaders got the pink pom-poms Creek crazy's got the pom-poms uh, pink socks all over our whole field actually tonight is uh, all pink the the, uh, the Yardage numbers are pink end zones pink everything's pink. So, you know, just Everyone that uh, that's been affected by breast cancer is definitely in everyone's prayers We're about to get this game started, you know, I'm I'm super excited for tonight uh, you know, this is I guess senior night, you know, I'm a senior, I guess, my last uh, regular season broadcast, if you want to put it that way, I mean, I'm definitely excited, love, love being on the sports block, it's a great thing we have at Middle Creek. And uh, last week uh, was Middle Creek's victory over Holly Springs. A very high scoring game. I think uh, we racked up about 66 points. Uh, you know, it was real close just until the last couple minutes of the fourth quarter. And then uh, Apex took on Fuquay and lost. Um, unfortunately, you know, Fuquay is one of our biggest rivals. So to see them go down is, is great. You know, whoever it is taking them down. Coin, coin toss just concluded. Players getting back to their respective teams. And the seniors are going to run out, join their teammates. You know, all the focus tonight will be on the seniors for the football team. Most of them are starters, so uh, you know we'll see a lot of them in action tonight. Especially David Salmon, our um, you know biggest star out there, our quarterback. So uh, all eyes will be on him tonight to uh, produce. You know, like I said, they're already in the playoffs, but they don't need to take Apex for granted. They need to come out with a lot of fire, a lot of energy, and, uh, and produce a win tonight. Our guests tonight are the Apex Cougars. Now, welcome in 
Looks like our banner says, be aware of the Mustang seniors in all pink. And they just totally destroy the banner as they do every week. And uh, I think Middle Creek won the coin toss and deferred to the second half. So we'll see Chris Huey uh, getting his first kickoff tonight, I believe. And I think something that uh, the coaching staff has started um, doing is getting an honorary coach of the week. And I know Mr. Chaldone was our coach of the week last year, or last week, excuse me. And uh, Mr. Ship is our coach of the week this week. Um, you know, I heard him before the game. He was really excited to be on the sidelines. And uh, he actually got to escort Marcus Bullock in um, for his senior night. And I will correct myself that Middle Creek is receiving the kickoff so they lost the coin toss Terrence White and Nalen Lopez deep for Middle Creek you know they're big big threat on the running game Apex is going to start off with a squib kick fair catch called by the Mustangs and they're going to take control of the ball around the 30 yard line on their first drive yeah, that's really good field position for the Mustangs, and they can get out and execute on offense really quickly. And, yeah, I mean, we've seen all season that the Mustangs uh, run the shotgun formation. Rarely ever do you see David get under center. I mean, I'm always surprised even on, you know, fourth and inches, fourth and centimeters even, he's still back in the backfield. And they've done a really good job with that too. First handoff. Given to Nalen Lopez, tries to find the room to run, but gain of three on the play. Yeah, let's see if uh, Nalen and Devon can get a, uh, if they can uh, run the ball really good tonight, or if David will pass a lot. And Johnson gets the handoff. It's going to be good enough for a first down. And they've got uh, Naylan Lopez and Johnson in the backfield, uh, two of our best running backs uh, for Middle Creek. I mean, we, we usually see either one or the other, so it's good to see both of them back there. It's going to bring up a lot more plays that the Mustangs can run. Another handoff to Lopez, finds a hole. He's brought down around the 43-yard 43, 43 line. So far, it seems as a... Uh, the Middle Creek coaching staff wants um, David to hand the ball off to either Nalen or Devon, and it's really worked so far, too. And another quick first down for the Mustangs. Yeah, you know, if they're running the ball like this, they just keep going, just getting first downs, working their way down the field. But I expect we see a pass here. I think you're right. He drops back, looks deep for Jeff Sladek, wide open, pass complete, touchdown, Middle Creek. Number nine, Jeff Sladek. With the reception, he is indeed one of our seniors, so he's uh, just absolutely ecstatic, wide open. You know, we've we've seen that all season, David just airing it out, and Jeff is our deep man, very quick. Uh, you know, he's not the biggest receiver we have, but he is so quick on his feet and uh, creating enough space where David could uh, get him the pass, and he scores the first uh, touchdown of tonight's game. Yeah, Jeff got a real, he got a really good uh, separation between him and the cornerback to get open. Extra point tacked on by Chris Huey, giving the Mustangs a 7 to nothing lead here early in tonight's game. And yeah, like you just said, uh, Jeff getting that separation between the, the uh, defender. You know, he, talking about his quickness, there's no one uh, on the receiving line that's as fast as him. You know, Quentin, he's quick, but... Um, as far as that deep ball, you know, Jeff can just shoot off the line. And, uh, you know, every time we've run that play, unless David's overthrown, uh, it's, it's been a touchdown. So 
you know, I don't think that's the last time we're going to see that play tonight. No, not at all. And it looks like we've got number 87, Kimmy Pittman, to kick tonight. Which that doesn't surprise me since it's her senior night. Yeah, I was about to say she's a senior, so they're uh, going to get her some some time in tonight's game. You know, we haven't seen her all that all that much this season, but um, I know she's excited to be in and uh, show off the leg she has because she does have a great leg. And I don't, I don't know if that was just a. I think it might have just been a miss kick. Um, Kimmy got a little nervous. You know, it's her first uh, actual big game she's been in. But it did catch him off guard. Because I saw the the front line of, of Apex was running back, and um, you know, luckily they got up and caught the ball before Middle Creek could get on it because it did go 10 yards, so it would have been a technically an onside kick. And a quick handoff. Can't get him down. Finally brought down. Gain of seven on the play. It says here that Apex's uh, quarterback is a freshman, so let's see what he can uh, do. And we're hearing up here that he's, uh, you know, he's a really, really quality quarterback, really quick on his feet. Um, so defense needs to look for him to run a lot. It looks like they're running in the spread formation too. Yeah, not many teams in our conference run, uh, you know, an I formation. I know Fuquay runs under center just about every play. Um, but other than that, we've seen all season the uh, shotgun formation. And another handoff. Good enough for the first down and more spinning and finally brought down. It looks like Apex's run game has really um been so been good so far and uh Middle Creek's defense hasn't really uh stopped him at that much. And Middle Creek's defense had a little trouble last week against Holly Springs, so uh, we'll we'll look for them to uh, shaping up. And I know our secondary is always really good. It's just on the run game we have some trouble. And a pitch, ball down, loose. We'll see who comes. Looks like Middle Creek's Looks got like the Middle ball. Creek That's Middle Creek's ball. Number 22, Marcus Bullock, coming up with the fumble recovery. You know, Apex tried to run the option play, but um, you know it was a little too late to to pitch that ball. And Marcus, with uh, great awareness, and came and pounced on that ball and got it. Middle Creek's gonna have great field position for the second drive of tonight's game. David hands it off to Lopez, who scoots through a hole and he's gonna drag Apex defenders just shy of the first down marker. Looks a gain of nine. Really good run by Nalen. It doesn't seem like Apex can really stop our run game. David's going to drop back to pass. Looking for Quentin Ray wide open. Touchdown, Middle Creek. That was just a lapse in coverage by the Apex Cougars. There was nobody near Quentin as he... Uh, could just take his time and uh, grab the catch and just run it into the end zone with all the time in the world. That's David's second passing touchdown of tonight's game. And like I said, that's not the last time we're going to see that play. 
Chris Huey's kick is through the uprights, putting the Mustangs up 14 to nothing with nine minutes left in the first quarter of play. We've talked about it just about every week about, you know, I said our, our student section uh, won the state's best uh, student section, um, you know, by votes. A lot of votes were put out by the uh, student body at Middle Creek, but I'm looking across the, the field and the whole Apex side is sitting down quiet. I don't think they brought a student section, but, uh, you know, their defense you know, hates to hear it because the last thing you want to do in this place is get the Creek Crazies riled up. Timeout, Apex. And Apex is going to call a timeout. So we're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Sports Block. We'll be right back. The sixth annual Stampede Rexel Auction is coming soon. back as Middle Creek gets ready to kick off. The Hendrick Carey Auto Mall probably supports the Mustangs. Check out the Triangle's largest inventory of new Buicks, GMCs, Cadillacs, Chevrolets, Do Dodges, Fiats, Kias, and over 5,000 pre-owned vehicles. All can be found online at www.careyautomall.com. The Hendrick Carey Auto Mall, conveniently located within minutes of anywhere in the Triangle. And a booming kick by Chris Huey, tackled around the five-yard line. So Apex is going to have a long field ahead of them. And Nick, you just told me that in the uh, the student section showdown, there was how many votes? 86,000 votes and by Middle Creek, and we only won by eight votes. Wow. And that was by Middle Creek alone, was the 86,000? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Definitely a lot of support from the student body. Apex calling an audible. Man in motion. Hand off to Betts. Oh no, pitch to the outside. As he almost breaks a hole, tackled. By number 12, Jacob Pearl. It, se it seems like Apex went back to that option play, and it, and it worked for them, for them this time. Let's see how many times they go back to it tonight. And once again, Apex calls an audible. It looks like they're doing it on every play. And another pitch to the outside. Stopped in the backfield. Number 10, Terrence White on the tackle for the Mustangs. Yeah, and they right, uh, you know, right out of the gate came back-to-back -back option plays. That one going for a loss. Loss of six to be exact. Looking for a pass just over the head of the receiver. Great coverage by the Middle Creek secondary. Marcus Bullock and Jacob Pearl. A Middle Creek's uh, secondary has been really good this year. They, um, we haven't really given up any uh, deep balls at all this year. 
you know, if I can remember, um, you know, most deep balls that teams have tried to run on us, Marcus Bullock is all over the place in the secondary. You know, I don't know his exact stat, but as far as I've seen, I know he's had at least five interceptions this season. Third and 16 for the Cougars. Another option. Tackled hard by Jacob Pearl. It's going to bring up about fourth and seven for the Cougars, and we're going to see the special teams unit for the Cougars for the first time tonight. Number 15, Gabe Cooper awaits the kick for the middle. Oh, and it's a blocked kick. I think he got a piece of it, and it's going to be downed at the 45-yard line. I'm pretty sure that Middle Creek got a hand on that. Yeah, I think you're right. Someone got their fingertips on that. But regardless, another good field position for David. You know, he's only got about half the field to work with. It's just what he wants. Hand off to Johnson. He looks to get outside. He does. He's going to be knocked out of bounds. Good enough for the first down. And as Middle Creek keeps racking up these first downs, um, you know, I'm not sure how many plays it took in the first drive, but I know the, the second drive was one play, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe two. Hand off to Lopez, excuse me, Johnson. Gain of four. Someone's going to drop back to pass, find Sladek. And he's going to be taken down. Looks to be good enough for the first down. And they're going to give it to him. It seems like in the last pass, in the last three drives, Middle Creek has um, run the ball twice and then passed. So let's see if they can if they keep that up during the whole game. Someone drops back again. Finds Jay Schuler, Stiff arm. He's going to be tackled out of bounds. Once again, another first down. That's enough for another Middle Creek. Yeah, and you know, Middle Creek definitely does need to get into that kind of rhythm, but not so much where um, the defense can catch up on what they're going to run. But David Salmon, he's really come out tonight um, on his game. Uh, you know, he's seven for seven, I believe, passing. And he finds Lopez, who tries to truck his way into the end zone. Just shy, about two yards. But, you know, like I was saying, David, just very on his game with that completion. I believe he's eight for eight on his passes tonight with two uh, passing touchdowns. Um, you know, we'll get you the official stat, hopefully, uh, by halftime. But, you know, he's really come out and um, showing his dominance tonight. He's going to hand off to Johnson. Nifty move. Finds his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Mustangs. Johnson put on his dancing shoes for that one. Just scooted his way. A little juke move, catching the fender off guard. And a very easy lane into the end zone. Chris Huey on for the extra point. Gabe Cooper is a holder, but there's a flag on the play. Offsides on Apex. Chris Huey will get a few more uh, 
a few more yards up on this kick. Not much of a difference. Kick is up, and he splits the uprights for the third time tonight, putting Middle Creek up 21 to nothing with five, about five and a half minutes left in the first quarter of play. And there you see, I guess I can call him the state champ student section. Your Creek crazies you know, always come out to the game, always, always energized, always energize the football team. And uh, you know, we I know us here on the sports block can't wait to hear them in the gym this basketball season. Make sure you stick around at halftime where uh, the Middle Creek Marching Band will perform Beatlemania that they've been working on all year. Um, you know, they've been in various competitions and come out with uh, first and third place in both competitions. Chris Huey with a squib kick. Once again, taken down at the 15-yard line. You know, it always just seems that Middle Creek has great field position and then just turning it over to the Cougars, and they have to start on, you know, in their own 20, and they've got to work with so much grass in front of them. Let's see if the uh, Cougars will go back to their um, option plays uh, on this drive because it seems to work a little bit but at the end it doesn't really seem to end out the way they want it to I mean they gotta they gotta start something you know they showed one big passing play but other than that they've run the ball every single time and there's a quick pass to the outside taken out of bounds just at the first down yard, yard uh, marker He's going to be just short. Second and one for the Cougars. And it seems like the Cougars, after every play, they're always looking for like an audible. I don't know if they want to catch the Mustangs D off guard or if it's just something they do every play. And a run to Betts will be good enough for the first down. He picks up about five yards. Yeah, it's literally like every single play they, they're running an audible. I mean, Middle Creek's not going to jump on it, so I don't know why they're doing it. And it's, it's taken off their play clock. I mean, it must just be a thing they've done all year. I can tell you this is going to be a long game if they do it every play. And they go back to that option. Gain of about five. Bringing up second and five for the Cougars. And you're right about wasting play, uh, time on the play clock because they're wasting like 15, 20 seconds. And that's, you can't get that back. First down picked up by the Cougars. We would like to thank Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue on 401 at um, McCuller's Crossroads for Supporting the Middle Creek Mustangs. I'm 
And Boyd getting the play from the sidelines. As he hands it off. Just a little gain. It's number three, Rondell Gaines for the Cougars on the run. Tip ball, and it comes up incomplete. Terrence White with the coverage. That could have been an easy interception, but just no one in the uh, in the area. But that's the old tip drill that you run in, pra in practice just for that occasion. We would also like to thank uh, Jersey Mike's of Cary. Over the years, Jersey Mike's has had a tradition of quality and commitment to making the best sub sandwich in the industry. Visit one of our four Jersey Mike locations in Cary and try a fresh sliced, fresh sliced or fresh grilled sandwich today. Let's see if the Mill Creek defense can stop the Cougars on a third and eight here. Pass incomplete. Good defense by Dewan Young, number five. As a, I don't, I didn't really see where that play was going. They eat, they needed eight yards. Um, you know, that quick bubble screen uh, wasn't going to go anywhere. Not with the way the defense is playing. Yeah, our defense has been all over them tonight. And a friendly bounce for the Cougars. It's going to stop. About the 17 yard line. So, this is the first time that David's been within the 20 yard line. A quick scoring update. In the second quarter, Garner is up 28 to 7 over Harnett Central. And Garner is still undefeated because they're the number one team in the state right now. And Quentin Ray finds it. He's going to get to the outside, cut down the sidelines, and he's going to go all the way into the end zone for his second touchdown of tonight's game. Great play drawn up by Castellano as Quentin Ray got a great block on the sidelines, and he took it briskly into the end zone. And yeah, Ray would have been down at the 45-yard line um, if it hadn't have been for Devon Johnson laying down a great block, opening up the hole for Quentin to uh, scoot down the sidelines. Chris Huey with the extra point. It's good, putting the Mustangs up 28 to nothing still in the first quarter of play. And it looks like the Creek Crazers are showing their what side Creek side cheer. Just showing their dominance of their uh, fandom here in the state. And some notable injuries for the Mustangs tonight. Number 38, Tom Hartshorn is uh, out for tonight. Not sure what the uh, diagnosis is, but 
Um, you know, he's he's uh, got his jersey on. He's on the sideline supporting his team. But uh, you know, he's one of our uh, best defenders. For uh, you know, he starts on defense. So it's you know kind of sad to see him out tonight. But he just wants to get uh, back healthy for the playoffs. Another quick score update. Greenhoop and Panther Kicker tied at zero at the end of the first quarter. Chris Huey with another great kick. And he's a junior here and he started last year as a sophomore on varsity um, you know he's he's one of the smallest kickers you know I've ever seen um, in high school or uh, or college he's really tiny but he's got a great leg and in the try nine we've got Lee County leading Holly Springs seven to nothing at the end of the first quarter Just closing in on two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Middle Creek with a commanding lead over um, Apex, 28 to nothing. And uh, they, they're definitely not going to let, let off the gas at all. Another quick try nine score update. Athens uh, leads carry seven to nothing with four seconds left in the first quarter. Apex runs the option. And it looks to me that they, they only have about three plays in their playbook. Yeah, option. Option, deep. run, and pass is yeah. about it. <laughs> I mean, our defense has been all over them today. And I don't know why they keep on wasting uh, time on the clock with their audibles all the time. It's doing them no good. There's the option again. Jacob Pearl. Jacob Pearl on the tackle just meets uh, Guinness in his tracks. Gabe Cooper once again deep for the Mustangs awaiting this kick and he ca he gets it looks to see if he can get any room breaks a tackle and made something out of nothing there he, I mean he got maybe three yards after it's all said and done, but he was going way back uh, to about the 35, maybe 30 yard line. Another quick try nine score update. Holly Springs ties it up with Lee County, 7-7 early in the second quarter. <laughs> so with one play run and last drive, we'll see how, I believe a timeout's gonna be called by Apex. <laughs> And with that timeout, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Sports Block. We'll be right back. back as David Salmon 
looks for the first play of this drive. You know, only took one play last last drive, so we'll see what Middle Creek draws up for this play. It's gonna be a handoff to Johnson. And he's gonna pass and just can't get it to Cooper. Pass from Devon Johnson is incomplete. A little trickery trying to catch the Cougars off guard. And I saw Johnson throwing with uh, with David on the sideline, so there's a, there's why, you know, they tried to – we haven't seen that much this year, any trick plays. But, I mean, I guess now's the best time to run them when you're up 28 to nothing. And Johnson with a lot of running room. Can be tackled at the 40-yard line. And at the closing of the first quarter, Middle Creek up 28 to nothing over the Apex Cougars. You know, Middle Creek just coming out really dominant tonight. Uh, you know, Apex just can't find can't find any way to stop the passing game for David Salmon. Uh, you know, he's just on his game all over the place tonight. So we're going to take it down to Kelsey for a sideline report. As quarterback David Salmon left the field, he said, it's too easy. The team needs to keep up the tempo and their confidence. If the Mustangs keep this up, this could be their biggest win yet. Back to you. Thanks, Kelsey. And all that noise you hear is from the Creek Crazies as they are presenting the banner for uh, the best student section in the state. And, uh, you know, they're... They're showing you why tonight. You know, we have all the cheers in the book, everything. They, you're going to hear them all, hear, hear everything from the Creek Crazies. Um, you know, Miss Yarman, Mr. Kushner are the uh, Creek Crazy advisors. Uh, they meet every Thursday uh, here at Middle Creek and organize what they're going to do for that game, what out it is. Uh, you know, tonight it's a pink out in honor of breast cancer. Uh, so, you know, they, they just presented the banner, and that's going to hang in front of our student section so everyone that comes to the creek knows that we are the best student section. Salmon was looking deep once again for Jeff Sladek, but tipped out of the hands by the Apex defender. A couple of stats on Sladek. As of uh, now, he's 5 for 6 with 121 yards and two touchdowns, I believe. Excuse me, three touchdowns. Pass incomplete intended for Quentin Ray. He just bounces out of his hands. David's going to drop back, finds Ray. Stiff arm, breaks free. He's almost he finds daylight, but he's going to be brought down just shy of the 20-yard line. And as you heard, it's good enough for the Middle Creek first down. Jeff Sladek gets some yards for Middle Creek, bringing up second and two. David pump fakes, looks for the back of the end zone. And Sladek is, I, yes, he's in. What a catch. Gets one foot. I, I'm pretty sure he got two feet in. What a great, uh, great composure. Excuse me, that was Jay Schuler on the reception. Um, but still, you know, great catch, great composure to keep both feet in bounds. And I apologize to uh, Jay, you know, we've, we've messed his number up all season. It's, it's just a hard thing to, to determine what eight and nine is from up here in the booth. But, uh, you know, great catch by Jay. 
Chris Huey tacks on yet again another extra point, putting Middle Creek up uh, 35 to zero. And you uh, you never want to show any pity to uh, to the other team, but um, I think now is is kind of the time where you know you've already got the playoffs um, in the bag, so you can you can put in the uh, the second third stringers, get them some opportunities to play. Uh, you know we might see after halftime uh, getting some of the young guns in, uh, but yeah, you never want to show any pity to the opponent. Um, so Middle Creek just needs to keep pushing, keep pushing, and uh, never let up until the final buzzer. Terrence White with a quick tackle. And I don't think uh, the Apex offense has been able to break the 50-yard uh, the line all night. No, I don't think they have. All they've, all they've been doing is uh, their option pass and run. They haven't been really doing anything else. <laughs> we would like to thank Rodino's uh, Pizza, Pizza and Grinders of Holly Springs, located in the Sunset Lake uh, Commons Shopping Center. Visit them online at Rodino's of Holly Springs .com. Boyd uh, with the quarterback keeper. As we said, he's a quick quarterback. So Middle Creek's defense needs to keep an eye on him as uh, you know the running game or the passing game hasn't really gotten started for Apex. So we might look for him to run. They love wasting time on this play, Cog. And that pass incomplete as it skips off the ground. You know, it, it's just, I'm sure it's just the thing that they've done all, all season. But, I mean, the time's not in their favor. They need all the time in the world right now. So, I mean, wasting time is not the smartest thing to do if you're down 35 to nothing. No, not at all. Boyd on the keeper. Boyd with the quarterback keeper. Flag on the play, though. It's a holding on the offense. We would like to thank the Triangle Orthopedics for supporting the Middle Creek Mustangs. Visit their new location in Apex or check them out on the web at triangleortho.com. It's going to bring up third and six for the Cougars. Yeah, let's see if they can execute on third and six. But I don't think Middle Creek's defense will let up. Flag. I think a Middle Creek. Yeah, Middle Creek jumped off sides on that. Third and four now for the Cougars. Middle Creek really hasn't had a problem with flags this season. So um, 
you know, it's not really something to be concerned over, but they don't need to rack up as much as uh, we saw in that first game versus uh, Southern Durham. We had about 35 flags thrown that game. Boyd's alone in the backfield. Keeps it himself. And it's gone nowhere. Yeah, and once again, we'll see their punt team come back on field. Maybe. I mean, I don't see any movement, so it looks like they're going to go for it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fourth and one, so they gave them the forward progress. He's going to be stopped short, I believe. They might give it to him from forward progress, but I don't think he – no, he didn't get enough. Good stand by the Mustang defense, not – Giving up the first down. So a costly turnover for the Cougars. As Middle Creek will look to execute and score a touchdown off this. Yeah, they have really good field position right now. Keon Smith in motion. Hand off to Devon Johnson. Smith with a great block. And Johnson just dragging defenders all over the place. Finally taken down out of bounds. And Smith just leveled one of the Middle Creek defenders. I don't know if you saw that, Nick, but he came in right off the outside and just laid him out. David drops back, finds Smith on the cut. He's going to use his quickness to bring it inside the 10-yard line as Middle Creek is threatening once again. Yeah, the past few plays that we've seen Keon in, he's really fast and really agile, and he, he really uses that to his ability. Lopez gets a handoff and finds his way into the end zone for another Middle Creek touchdown. Yeah, and Keon Smith um, brings me back to about two years ago where we had uh, Smoke for our, uh, one of our leading receivers. Um, you know, they're just about the same size. Smoke was 5'4 at the most, but he, was, he probably ran a maybe 4'4'40. I mean, that kid was quick as can be. So, you know, just seeing Keon out there, um, you know, just a little tiny receiver just brings me back to uh, – I think it was my freshman year is when we had Smoke and Garrett uh, really dominating package. Huey's kick is no good. But uh, really nothing to worry about as Middle Creek still holds the lead 41 to nothing with uh, just under eight minutes left to go in the first half. We would like to thank Crystal Palace. Check out the Crystal Palace Asian uh, Fusion Buffet and catering on their on their website, crystalpalacebuffet.com. Make sure you guys stick around at halftime as a Middle Creek marching band will be performing. Uh, you know their uh, their Beatlemania, Beatlemania performance. It's absolutely just a perfect, uh, perfect night for football. It's just a little chill in the air, but perfect weather. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Sandy stayed away, so we could uh, have tonight's game. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure she, she brought some gifts as we're up 41 to nothing. Yeah, maybe not some gifts for college football and NFL this weekend though.
So Apex will take control of the ball at the 22 yard line. Apex running the pistol formation. Boyd running an audible once again. And a pitch that outside. Dewan Young on the tackle. Yeah, our defense has been all over their running game and their passing game today. They've done a really good job this first half. Gaines gets a pitch, almost breaking a good run. The Middle Creek's defense holds up, bringing up a third and two. We would like to thank our sponsor, Crooked Creek Golf Club, the Mustangs' home for, for golf. Visit them online at playcrookedcreek.com. Apex getting a first down on that play. Ball on the 33-yard line. Time still ticking away. Apex can't afford to waste any more time. Looks like Apex just tried to run the um, the same play, the same trick play Middle Creek uh, tried a few plays ago. You know they had it down perfectly, just overthrown. Yeah, they had their wide receiver John Hernley all the way down the field and just just out of his fingertips. Boyd stays on his feet. Finally brought down. And that's what we talked about. You know, Boyd, he's a big threat when he runs. Um, just couldn't bring him down. Middle Creek's defense, uh, too many arm tackles. You got to wrap him up. You know, everyone thinks a quarterback, you, I mean, don't be afraid to, to take them down with force. Yeah, he really reminded me of like Robert Griffin III running the ball out there because he was just running all over the place. He takes off again and gets his way out of bounds with a gain of six. Apex running game now, uh, they're threatening 
just shy of the 30 yard line. Hand off to Gainis. Stopped just as he hits a wall of Mustangs. Kevin, was that their first time past 50 yard line tonight? I think it was the second. Um, we said earlier that it, that they haven't before, but there was one play that they uh, they broke to 50. So yes, that was the uh, that was the second time they've broken the 50. But um, you know they've got something going now. So uh, Middle Creek uh, just needs to stay hot defensively. Quick try nine score update: Athens drive leads carry seven nothing at halftime. Gaines gets another hand, uh, handoff. Tackled by number 50, Josh Hunter. We would like to thank Spielberg Orthodontics for their for their sponsorship. Visit them at the Apex Professional at the Apex Pe Professional Park or online at www.spielbergortho.com. First and ten for the Cougars. And they try to run the play again. And overthrown, wide open. I mean, you can't draw it up any better. But I, th yeah, there's a flag on the field. Flag's gonna be waved off. No penalty on the play. Yeah, like those two last um, trick plays that Apex tried to run. Both times the the receiver was wide open. I think uh, you know. Every time if the team runs those plays, it's just so e exhilarating that they uh, they just overthrow, thinking they're going to come up with something big. Yeah, just like you said, those are opportunities you cannot pass up for Apex. Because I mean, at this point in the game, they need anything they can get. Handoff to Gainis. A quick, go ahead. A quick try nine score update. Holly Springs and Lee County are tied 7-7 seven -seven at halftime. Third and four for the Cougars. Just a little short of the red zone, but. And they're definitely threatening here. Boyd's going to keep it himself. He tries to scramble. Tackled in the backfield by number 22, Marcus Bullock. I think that was a miscommunication because Boyd looked to hand off um, to the right side. And uh, I think it was supposed to be to the left side. So the only thing he had to do was run. Loss of six on the play. Fourth and ten as Apex will have to go for it. Boyd looks to pass. Just out of the reach of the receiver. As he almost one-handed the ball. It's going to be a turnover on downs yet again. As Middle Creek will can take will take control of the ball at the 29 yard line. We would like we would like to thank Fast Med Urgent Care for their sponsorship. Visit the Fast Med online online or on 1010 Road or Kildare Farm Road. Nailing low 
Nalen Lopez on the carry. I think Middle Creek's just going to try to run the remaining timeout. There's only two minutes left in the half. So uh, they're just going to try to run the clock out, go into the locker room with a 41 to nothing lead and come back out of the, uh, out of the half, you know, energized, looking to put some more points on the board. And Lopez gets a carry, breaking tackles. And he gets to the outside, finally taken down. Our offensive line has done a really good job, and all of our blocks have done a really good job tonight, making room for all of our um, running games tonight. And the clock will only stop momentarily to move the change. David hands it off to Johnson. Stiff arms, breaking tackles. Can be brought down at the 25 yard line. Excuse me, the 15 yard line. Maybe Middle Creek uh, might be looking to score just to give uh, some more insurance going into the locker room. Hand off to Johnson. It's gonna be a flag on the play. I think, I think Apex maybe uh, jumped before the snap. Illegal shift on the Mustangs. Excuse me, on the Cougars. We would like to thank Fairview Baptist Church for, for, providing, the, for, for providing the varsity football team with pregame meals. Ball on the 16 yard line. Quentin Ray in motion. Hand off to Johnson. He cannot be taken down easily, but he's going to be pushed out of bounds. That's enough for another middle break. First goal. Yeah, with Devon uh, getting out of bounds, it, it gives us um, with about a minute left to try to, to try to score before the halftime. We might look for David to keep it himself as we've seen him run a couple times. But a handoff to Johnson goes nowhere. As Middle Creek can just take their time with the seconds clicking away. David drops back, finds Sladek, gets into the end zone, but a flag is gonna be thrown. We'll await the call to see if the touchdown stands. No flag on the play. Touchdown, Middle Creek. <laughs> Jeff Sladek, number nine, with his second touchdown of the game. This is great for him and David, both, both seniors and both connecting for two touchdowns on senior night. So this is a night for both of them to remember. And 
Kick was no good, but Huey was definitely roughed on that play. No flag thrown. Castellano is almost out in the middle of the field arguing, trying to protect his kicker. You know, I was watching the kick, but I looked back and saw um, I saw Huey on on the ground. But I don't think they're going to give him the call. Middle Creek up 47 to nothing with 36 seconds left until halftime. Castellano is showing his uh, emotions, but you know he's smiling about it. You can't really be too mad when your team's playing, uh, playing to perfection, 47 to nothing. You know, there's not really much to be mad about. He was just trying to protect his kicker on that play. A quick try nine score update: Green Hook seven, Panther Creek three at halftime. Rubino's kick goes out of bounds. Apex will take control of the ball. The 30 yard line. We would like to thank our sponsor, Walton Orthodontics, for supporting the Middle Creek Mustangs. Visit their website at waltonorthodontics.com. Gaines gets a handoff. Time is going to run off the clock. And once again, make sure you stay tuned in as the Middle Creek Marching Band will be performing at halftime. And that's going to be the last play of the half. As Boyd just lets the time run out. And Middle Creek is leading 47 to nothing as they go into halftime. And now we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with the marching band.
back. We're going to take it down to Kelsey for uh, a quick first half wrap up. The Mustangs have, con have continued their touchdown streak throughout the second quarter. Quarterback David Salmon has had one of the best games of his high school career, which is only fitting because the special needs kids he works with are here to watch. David received the WRAL Extra Effort Award a few weeks ago. The CFF Carolina Challengers, the team David works with, are here to be represented at halftime. Back to you. Thank you. All right, we're going to take it down to the Middle Creek Marching Band, so stay tuned and watch Beatlemania.
Mustang Band. They'll be performing on Saturday tomorrow at Sanderson High School at 1245. Come on out and support your Mustang. And that was a Middle Creek marching band. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with the start of the third quarter.
back at the start of the third quarter. Middle Creek leading the Cougars of Apex 47-0. Apex will get the ball at the start of the second half. Chris Huey lining the ball up to, to uh, kick off. And Middle Creek just certainly in the first half taking control of this game. Huey with a sky high punt. Gainus will be taken down at the 25 yard line where Apex will start the first drive. And uh, David Salmon is just having uh, one of his best games of his high school career. And uh, what better day to, to have one than your senior night, um, your last regular season game of your high school career. Um, you know, he's just connecting every single play. He's engaged. Um, you know, he hasn't thrown any interceptions, nothing. Um, he's flawless tonight. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely see him try to uh, come back and pick it up in the, in the second half. Yeah, same with Naylan Lopez and Devon Johnson, both being seniors. They've had they found some good holes, got some good blocks, and had some good runs for the Mustangs. Apex came out with a quick run, gaining about 15 yards. Boyd takes the snap and hands it off. Run goes nowhere. No gain on the play. Gain of one, sorry. Brandon Thompson, number 52 on the tackle. Boyd once again takes an audible from the sidelines as we see on every play. Drops back to pass. Finds number one. Tackled by Marcus Bullock. Yeah, as we saw in the first half, uh, Boyd, he likes calling all, he, he likes calling all audibles and it seems to, to me like he's just wasting time and uh, that time you can't get back in a game like this. Boy drops back to pass. Scrambles and pushed out of bounds at the 50 yard line. Looks like we're getting a slight mist over the field. Boy, the keeper knocked out by Marcus Bullock and Jacob Pearl. So hopefully, uh, this won't stick around long. We've had perfect weather up to this point. Looks like Middle Creek's gonna bring the pressure. A line drive kick. Gabe Cooper almost gets away. Cooper on return. Mustangs take over in their own 12. Mustangs will take control of the ball at the 12-yard line. It seems like on every drive that the Mustangs have, they always produce some numbers or some great yardage. So let's see if they can do the same here to start the second half. Quentin Ray in motion, shuffle pass. He's gonna be taken down, there's a flag on the play. Yeah, 
right in front of the Calvin Cam. He can't see it. Illegal shift on the Mustang. Illegal shift on the Mustang, so to bring him back. To bring up second. First and 15. First and 15. Probably look to uh, for David to pass. Hands it off to Johnson. No room to run. Apex defense has uh, come out of the gates hard to start this second half. Middle Creek can't get anything going. Yeah, Apex's defense has done a really good job. This they've done a really good job this so far in the second half with with their um running with their run D and their pass D. Let's see what they can do here. David throws just over the head of Quentin Ray. Bringing up a fourth down to bring on Rubino, our punter. Kevin, is this our first punt of the night? Yeah, I think it's yeah. It's the first time we've seen the uh, the punting unit. I believe it's the first fourth down we've had. Urbino with a good rolling punt. Urbino's punt is down by Terrence White on the Apex 48 yard line. Ball's going to be placed at the 48 yard line where Apex will take control of the ball. with an option decides to run the ball there's a flag on the play tackle by number 47 Marquise Ward good run by Boyd though, to get that to get that maybe first penalty is on apex so to bring him back five yards. We would like to thank Kenneth West Incorporation for their sponsorship for providing site development for, for residential and commercial construction. Boy drops back to pass, looking deep. Tipped out of the hands of Terrence White. We have an injury timeout. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Sports Block.
and we're back. Injured Mustang was number five. Dewan Young, him and uh, White just collided as they're both going for the interception, but he walks off on his own powers. So he looks to be all right. With just over seven minutes left in the third quarter. Middle Creek still up 47 to nothing over Apex. Gainus hits a wall of Mustangs. Goes nowhere. Third and 15. Let's see if uh, Boyd goes for the option or for a long ball. Or for a long ball. Third and 15 for He's alone, so he'll definitely pass here. Rolls to the right. Passes. Incomplete, out of bounds. Fourth and 15 coming up for Apex. And their punting unit will come on. Is Gabe Cooper, number 15, deep for the Mustangs. Another line drive bouncer. Cooper gets it. Gets to the outside and knocked out of bounds. Let's see if the, if the Mustang offense can uh, produce something out, out here on their second um, drive of the second half. They were pushed to a quick three and out last drive. David's first pass incomplete, intended for Demetrius Wilkins. Hand off to Lopez, I believe. Robinson. 32, Frankie Robinson checking into the game. Gets that handoff. We're going to have third and ten for the Mustangs. David drops back. Finds Wilkins. He gets just enough for a first down. A gain of 16 on that passing play from... Sam into Wilkins. Good, pa good pass by Salmon to get this drive really started. Smith in motion. Takes a shuffle pass. Gets knocked out of bounds just shy of the first down marker. Lopez just tackled. We would like to thank South Wake Oral Surgery and Dental Implants Group for sponsoring the Middle, the Middle Creek Mustangs. For more information, check out their 
website at www.southwakeoralsurgery.com. Salmon finds Cooper, who drags oh. drags the defender a good three yards That's after the catch. Resulting in a first down for the Mustangs. Mustangs have the ball in the 37. Need a timeout, Apex. With that timeout, we're going to take a break. You're watching the Sports Block. We'll be right back. back Middle Creek has the ball on the 37 yard line looking to score Selman drops back finds Sladek a little hit after the play no flags going to be thrown it seems like two blown calls by the refs so far in this game one on Chris Huey and this one just on Jeff Sladek and they're definitely letting him play tonight. Get the camera, get inside. Get the camera, get inside. And the, the mist has come back with a little bit of rain. It's affecting Wilkins. We're going to take a quick break because of weather. We'll be right back. You're watching the Sports Block. Sorry, folks, we have 
Uh, the weather is coming in, the rain, so we had to break down all our cameras. We're going to still do our best to uh, bring you all the action from the remainder of the game. Uh, what you guys missed, um, you know, just a, a couple miscommunications by the Mustang offense resulting in a, a punt, and Apex has the ball now on, uh, on the 25-yard line with four minutes left. Score still 47 to nothing. Apex still just playing their slow offense, handing the ball a quarterback keeper. It's good enough for a first down. Boy, on the keeper, tackled by Corey Wright. Corey Wright on the tackle. We've seen a lot of plays tonight uh, with with Boyd, the quarterback for Apex. Uh, a lot of fake handoffs, and he'll take off and run. Not a lot of passing from from the Cougars. Yeah, the ball's down at the 32. Boyd taking an audible from the sidelines as he's been doing all night. Hand off to Gaines. Pitch to the outside. Breaks free for a gain of seven for the Cougars. They really relied on that option play a lot tonight, which has, hasn't really gone their way, but really nothing has. Clock working against Apex. Three minutes here left in the third quarter. Man in motion. Hand off to Gainus. He breaks free for a good run of about 20 yards. It's the biggest run we've seen tonight from the from the Cougars. Yeah, he and he's in Middle Creek territory down at around the 45 yard line. And we've seen the Cougars tonight get close to the end zone but just can't produce and uh and cross cross the goal line for a score. Boyd in the shotgun formation, calling an audible. They're on a reverse, almost taken down in the backfield. Feinzel. He almost scores for the Apex Cougars, but he steps out of bounds at the 13 yard line with a play that could have been could have been the loss of a good 10 yards results in about a 30 40 yard run. Yeah, he found the outside there and uh, really turned on the Jets. No one really could bring him down but just stepped out of bounds at the 13 yard line. Good run by him. Boyd doing his audible like usual. And a hard hit as you heard the uh, moans of the fans. Boyd on Perry. This quarterback, Boyd, brings up second and two from the five yard line. For our viewers, there's about 140 left in the third quarter. Boyd keeps it himself, pitches, tackled in the backfield by number 12, Jacob Pearl. Good defense by Jacob Pearl, too. We've heard his name a lot tonight. He's been all over the ball. Closing in on a minute left in the third quarter. Score still 47 to nothing in favor of the Mustangs. Yeah. 
Gaines with the handoff, tackled quickly by Marquise Ward. Gaines on the carry, tackled by Hollywood Ward. Fourth it's fourth and fourth and three, ball in the six yard line with about thirty seconds left in the third quarter. Apex might look to get one last play off. They'll have to because the play clock is just within ten seconds. About an eight second difference between the game and play clock. Boyd keeps it himself, cuts the inside. And he's in for the score. Ruining the shutout for Middle Creek. Boyd takes it in with the quarterback keeper. And looks like they're going to go for two. Yeah, I mean, why not go for two? Down by so much. Boyd looks to pass. It's taken down. Two point conversion, no good. With eight seconds left in the third quarter, Middle Creek 47, Apex 6. We have a try nine score update. It's the end of the third quarter for the Athens carry game. Athens leads seven to six. And uh, looks like Kurt Powell has taken off his shoulder pads on the sidelines. So uh, you know, I saw him on the sidelines earlier. He is, I think his hand was bothering him. So he might, might have jammed it in a face mask or something, but you know, definitely precautions taken since Middle Creek is in the playoffs and you're up by so much, you don't want to put your key players back in the game and get hurt even more. I just got word that number five, Dewan Johnson, also has his pads off, just taking it easy for the rest of the game so he can get back out next week in the playoffs and uh, hopefully produce a win for the Mustangs. And I don't know if we're going to see an onside kick or not by the uh, by the Cougars. You know, it's kind of a little too little, too late. But you never know what uh, what could happen. But they do. I think that was more of a, a squib kick than an onside Take kick. Just trying to get it away from our dangerous run game of. Smith and Lopez, and the kick went out of bounds, so Middle Creek will get a few extra yards. Middle Creek will take control at the 35 yard line. First and 10. David Salmon still in the game, having a great game tonight. Hands it off to Devon Johnson as he finds a hole. And he's going to go down the sidelines. Two more defenders, and he's going to be in. in for a touchdown. Middle Creek only takes one play to score. Number four, Devon Johnson with a great run, Put, putting Middle Creek on the board once again with a score of 53-6. to six. And for our viewers, that was the last play of the third quarter. So we'll kick here and go to the fourth. Number 87, Kimmy Pittman on for uh, a little redemption as she kind of had a, a punt go off her foot. Um, she's on, I saw her warming up with a field goal, so we'll see if she can tack on the extra point for the Mustangs. Snap is good, hold is good. The kick is through the uprights, Kimmy Pittman. Putting the Mustangs up 54 to six. 
We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching the Sports Block. After that long run by Devon Johnson, Chris Huey on for the kickoff. Muffed kick. It's going to be a flag block in the back as Gaines can now be taken down. Finally taken down at the 35. But that's going to come back as there was a block in the back. We've got word that uh, our cameras will be set back up, so we'll be bringing you uh, more action from tonight's game. We have a quick score update. Holly Springs 14, Lee County 28. Another quick score update. At the end of the third quarter, Green Hook seven, Panther Kick three. Apex will take control of the ball at the eight yard line. Boyd hands off to Gainis. Little gain. Maybe a gain of two. Gain is on carry. Excuse me, a one yard gain. Bring up a second and nine. Boyd calling another audible. Boyd's going to roll out, evades pressure, and pulled out of bounds. Boyd on the carry, tackled by Luke Gray. We got an injured player on the field for the Mustangs. Not sure who the injured player is. Alright, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back, hopefully with some video. You're watching the sports block. back and we do have video after the uh, the rain finally quit 
Injured Mustang was 33, Matt Vetterosa. Boyd hands off to Gainis. Oh, he keeps it, wow. He disguises that ball so well. The quarterback keeper bringing, brings up a first down for the Cougars. Play clock hitting 10 seconds. Apex need to get a playoff. And I believe they're gonna call a timeout. Timeout Apex, it's their second one of the half. We're gonna take another break. You're watching the Sports Block, we'll be right back. the timeout play clock was just about to hit zero so apex was forced to call a timeout they have one more remaining man in motion looking to pass and look to go back to the quarterback it just bobbled out of his hands i'm pretty sure he would have had a touchdown had he caught that there's a lot of daylight in front of him. Just about 10 minutes left. Middle Creek still holding the lead. 54 to 6. Pretty sure game the game is a little out of hand for the Cougars. Hand off to Gainus, no, nothing, uh, nothing going. Loss of two on the play. We would like, to th we would like to thank one of our sponsors, Performance, the Performance Academy. Third and 11 for the Cougars on the 19 yard line. Deep bomb. Almost intercepted. Just through the hands. Number 35, York Sand. We're going to fourth down for Apex. Bringing a uh, bringing on the kicking unit. Carries on top of Athens Drive, 9-7 in the fourth quarter. And also in the fourth quarter, Green Hope still up on Panther Creek, 7-3. Good punt by the Cougars. It's gonna go out of bounds. The 16, maybe 17 yard line. Let's see if the Mustangs offense can come out and uh, 
build on this lead that they have. And they've definitely shown so far that they're not going to let off one bit, so they're going to look to score no matter what. David keeps the ball. But there's a flag on the play. He's going to break free. He pulled down the 45-yard line. There's a flag on the play. It's going to be a holding on the Mustangs. It's going to bring it back. So that great run that you rarely see from David is going to be brought back with a hold. And I expect we'll see a pass, it's probably a deep pass. And a timeout, Apex, final one of the half. We're going to take a break. You're watching the Sports Block. We'll be right back. with eight minutes, 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Middle Creek leading 54 to six as they're stuck back in the back of their end zone. David's gonna hand it off to Frankie Robinson as he breaks free for a gain of 10 yards. We've got an injured player on the field for Apex. We're gonna take another break, we'll be right back. back after that brief injury timeout. Second and 11 for the Mustangs on the 15 yard line. Jay Schuler in motion, takes a pitch. Breaking a few tackles, gonna be taken down at the line of scrimmage. We have a quick score update. Garner has just beaten Harnett Central 56 to 14. Third and 15 on the 15 for the Mustangs. We'll see David drop back and pass. We'll see who he's looking for. Finds Sladek wide open. He makes a few cuts. 
taken down at the 30 yard line. Couldn't have been draw, uh, drawn up any better. Once again, once again we see Jeff and uh, David connecting. They've, they've been doing that all night. Starting off really early in the game for that quick score. Someone takes a snap, hands off to Robinson, finds a big hole, runs his way to the 11 yard line. Middle Creek threatening once again. Be a first and 10 for Middle Creek. Robinson with the carry. Flag on the play. Frankie Robinson, flag on the play. Signal was a touchdown, but we'll wait and see what the flag is. Holding on the offense. Gonna bring it back first and 15. We've done a really good job about um, marching down the field on this drive. Let's see if we can uh, overcome that flag and score on this on these next couple plays. And a busted play results in a face mask on Apex. Gonna result in a first down for Middle Creek. Be first and ten. David scrambles, gets out of bounds. This looks like a gain, gain of maybe three on the play. <laughs> David's gonna come out of the game. Great game by him, uh, you know, connecting with Jeff so many times tonight. Great passing. You know, he couldn't ask for a better senior night. And the handoff to Robinson goes nowhere. Frankie Robinson. Third and eleven. Quarterback checking into the game is number 23, Brent Gressel. Gressel hands it off to Robinson. He looks to fumble. We'll see who comes up with it.
No signal yet. It's going to be a touchdown for Middle Creek. As Middle Creek's offense came up with the ball in the end zone. A weird series of events results in a touchdown. Yeah, touchdown by Frankie Robinson, but it was called back because of a flag. And when Frankie does get the opportunity, fumbles in the end zone, and we don't really know who gets it until Troy Dybul comes up with the ball. Kimmy Pittman on again for the extra point. Good snap, good hold, kick is up. Booming kick goes through the uprights and good. She's two for two on the night. Putting Middle Creek up 61 to six with 447 left in the game. Wallace supplies last at the concession stand. Hot chocolate for 50 cents a cup while it lasts. We're short-handed with the uh, custodial help tonight. If everyone can take care of your own trash, put it in the nearest trash receptacle, please. We much appreciate it. Thank you. We would like to thank FastMed Urgent Care for their sponsorship. Visit, visit the FastMed uh, Clinic at 1010 Road in Kildare Farm Road. Muffed kick puts uh, Apex down around the 18-yard line. So uh, let's see if our defense can come out and uh, execute here with the last 4:45 left to go in the game. Pitch to Gainus on the outside. Gain of nine on the play. Brings up second and one for the Cougars. Offsides on Middle Creek. It's going to give the Cougars a first down. Progress. Gainus is gonna gonna have a gain of six yards. Bring up second and four.
backboard, hands off to Gaines. Tackled hard. Just over three minutes left in the game. Middle Creek 61, Apex 6. Boyd hands off to Gaines. It's good enough for the first down. A quick try nine score update. Carey defeats Athens Drive 9-7 and, in, and earns a and earns a spot in the four in the four double A playoffs. Boyd with the keeper. It's gonna get into the end zone with a good run. Shows his quickness off there. Another quick try nine score update. Lee County leads Holly Springs 28-21 in the fourth quarter. Looks like they're going to go for two. Boyd looks to pass. It's good. Two point conversion is good. Two point conversion is good. With two and a half minutes left, Middle Creek 61, Apex 14. Creek, you know, the clock is definitely in our favor, so with just a few runs, they can run the clock out and come away with the victory. Number 17, Keon Smith, is deep for Middle Creek. A short kickoff, fair caught by Alex Williams. Pretty sure if Middle Creek scores one more time, they break the all-time point scored for Middle Creek in uh, school history. Flag on the play. A flag on the play. Offsides, apex. 
first and five. Gressel looked to run, tackled in the backfield. Clock will continue to run though. Gressel on the keeper, tackled by Barnett. Second and 11. Second and 11 for the Mustangs. Clock hitting two minutes. Frankie Robinson gets the carry. Gain of five on the play. It's third and five. <laughs> and Middle Creek can definitely run the clock out with at least two more first downs. Russell scrambles, tackled at the line of scrimmage. Clock under a minute now, just seconds left in the game. And you can hear the number one state student section cheering, I believe that we just won. Good punt by Rubino. Gives the ball to Apex with 20 seconds left in the game. seconds left in the game. Middle Creek leads 61 to 14. And I think Apex only has enough time for maybe one, maybe two plays. Boyd drops back to pass. Pressure coming. He airs out. Pass complete. One of Boyd's longest passes of the day. And this will probably be the last play of the game. Ten seconds left. He passed it to a lineman. Yeah, it's an ineligible receiver, but it won't matter. All right, we're going to take it down to Kelsey for a post-game wrap-up. What an amazing performance by the Mustangs. Both offense and defense really performed well tonight. Junior Troy Dybalt scored his first touchdown of the year, and female kicker had her best performance yet. The Mustangs hold much promise going into the playoffs. Back to you. Thanks, Kelsey. And Middle Creek 
comes out with the win tonight on senior night, 61 to 14. Good win for them. Uh, you know, they never let off, never let off the gas, and they kept scoring every opportunity they got. You know, it's it's upsetting for Apex. Um, you know, they only have one uh, one win on the season. Uh, you know, that coming, excuse me, two wins. One is conference. Um, so, you know, Middle Creek definitely had the best of them tonight, uh, as the scoreboard can tell you. You know, good job by all the seniors. We're really proud of them. Um, you know, we'll hope for them to come out in the playoffs and really shine like they did tonight in the um the combination of David Salmon and Jeff Sladek really proved to uh, to be one that helped the Mustangs tonight as they connected, I believe, three times for a touchdown. Uh, you know, a deep threat is always a big part of the game plan for the Mustangs. So for Kevin Brunson and uh, Nick Holliday, that's going to do it for us here on the Sports Block. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back for the playoffs.